A stray dog had been living in the scorching deserts for months. Every day she'd lay out in the sun, refusing to seek shelter from the relentless heat. Eventually, her seemingly abnormal behavior attracted the attention of a rescue group, and when they went to collect her, they realized the heartbreaking reason why she'd never sought safety. Bakersfield, California has a desert climate. This means that its summers are long and hot, while its winters are brief and cold. Each year, for instance, the city experiences 108 afternoons during which temperatures rise above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and on two days a year, thermometer readings tend to exceed 110 degrees Fahrenheit. So with all that in mind, it's safe to say Bakersfield is a pretty hot place to live. The extreme weather can naturally take its toll on the city's residents, not less of all its canine wants. And since dogs are unable to sweat through their skin, it's easy for them to suffer fatal heat strokes. Panting can help the animals to keep cool, and they can also expel heat through their paws and noses. However, their fur coats are hardly the most appropriate summer outfits. As a result, many experts advise dog owners to limit their pet's exposure to outside environments when temperatures soar. That said, some dogs have little choice but to stay outside during the hottest months of the year. For instance, in summer 2015, one resident near Bakersfield grew concerned about a canine that had been living in the desert for months. Although temperatures were close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the animal never tried to seek shelter. Each day, the dog would walk to a nearby irrigation channel to drink some water. After that, she'd cool down with a quick swim. However, the pooch would then spend the rest of the day laying in the middle of an open field with the intense sun beating down upon her. She never attempted to dig out a lair or even find a shade to keep herself cool. Eventually, the residents grew so worried about the animal that they contacted No Kill Kern. This dog rescue organization usually saves canines from killed shelters before finding them loving forever homes. But it also helps strays live on the streets and it readily agrees to help the desert doggy. A rescue team from No Kill Kern consequently made their way down to the desert. The animal lovers were confused as to why the dog kept returning to the middle of the dried out field in which she lived. To find the answer, they decided to follow her routine. But nothing would have prepared them for what they discovered. We had to figure out why she kept returning to that spot, so we slowly approached. Reading a statement on No Kill Kern's website, that's when we saw the body of another dog who had been struck down by a car, badly decomposed, but almost every piece remained. She was guarding the fallen friend. But while the loyal dog may not have wanted to leave the remains of her companion, it was deemed unsafe for her to stay out in the scorching desert. With this in mind, the rescue team launched a plan to capture her and give her a new start, but they knew it wasn't going to be easy. In fact, it turned out to be extremely challenging. It was one of the hardest rescues I've ever been part of, one of the rescuers said. When we saved this dog, we didn't have a dog trap. Everything would have to be freehand, in a field, in the middle of nothing, with miles for her to run in each direction. After three long days, the team were no closer to capturing the dog, so they decided to use something close to an animal's heart to entrap her. While she was away drinking water, then they moved the corpse of her friend into a neighbor's gated yard. Perhaps, knowing that something wasn't quite right, the dog waited a full 12 hours before eventually sneaking into the yard to be close to her companion. Once there, she fell asleep under a tree, and the rescuers were able to trap her. One of them managed to get her on a leash, and just like that, their rescue mission was complete. The team named the dog Hachika after Hachiko, a famously loyal Japanese dog that waited over nine years for its owner to return, unaware that he had died. But the rescuers knew separating the dog from the remains of her friend would be difficult, so they hatched a plan which would allow them to be together always. Later, Hachika went to a vet for a checkup. Thankfully, they found her to be healthy as she can be. As a result, staff at No Kill Kern had her spayed and placed her into foster care. And now that she had love in her life, the dog began to flourish. However, she never forgot her fallen friend. Her rescuers were naturally keen to reward Hachika for being so loyal. To this end, they collected her friend's bones and had them cremated. They later put some of the animal's ashes in a small trinket so that her pair could be reunited. Now, Hachika could carry her friend with her no matter where she went. Explaining why it went to such an effort, No Kill Kern said leaving Hachika's body behind was never an option. We owe it to this dog to see that they are taken care of. The organization said on Facebook, we couldn't leave the remains in the field that was her best friend. She didn't leave them, so how could we? Despite all that she'd been through, Hachika soon transformed into one of the happiest dogs around.
that she could never fail to provide us with a huge grin on her face and thousands of moments of pure joy. We couldn't be more pleased to have her safely in our care. She is being fostered by one of her amazing friends and never falls short in displaying her amazing intelligence to us. The update continued. This girl is awesome and her loyalty to her friend shows us that no matter what happens, we can always keep smiling. Eventually, Hachika found herself some new friends. Yes, a loving family who already had two fur babies ended up adopting her. And while they gave Hachika her forever home, the family got something in return. A loyal companion whose friendship can defy anything, even death.